what's up you guys today is monday and it is my off day but it doesn't seem like an off day because it's gonna be pretty busy just woke up that's why my throat is like gross <laughs> As I mentioned last week, before I ended the vlog, I totally thought that I had five drawers for my Alex drawers, but turns out I have five drawers. So I got four knobs and I didn't get one more knob, stupid me. But today I'm going to go down to Palm Springs really quick. It is actually... 7:43 right now. I had to wake up really early because I have a lot of stuff to do and I just want to get it over with before Irving gets home because yeah, we're going to try to take a nap before I'll tell you guys all that I have to do today. So, I have to go down to Palm Springs to get one more knob from Anthropology, which I don't mind because I'm loving that store. Now, their clothes are really pricey. They're like 100 to $150 for a shirt and yeah I'm guessing it's good quality but I feel like it's not really my style so I don't like the clothes there but they have really nice knobs there and they also have like a um, Mario Badesca Desky? I don't know I don't know how to say his name but yeah, they have like products by him and I was actually thinking about picking up like a, um, a cleanser too because I saw a gel cleanser that I wanted. So I think I might do that. And then afterwards, we're actually going to a wedding tonight at 4. I was invited by my friend. Um, so me and Irving will be attending that. And I don't really have anything wedding appropriate. So... I know I can find something, but um, I don't know. I just want to see if I can find anything else because I'm tired of wearing the same thing. So I might try to look at like Windsor or something for like a dress, maybe some shoes. I don't know. So we will definitely see. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just gonna get ready. Um, I also have to do laundry <laughs> while I'm doing everything else. So hopefully I can get everything done. Um, and I also have to like clean the house a little bit because it's kind of dirty. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, so I will take you guys with me. <laughs> and I want to try to get down there because anthropology opens at 10. So I want to try to leave the house at like 9 um, and then get down there by the time they open. So yeah, I'm just going to get ready now. <laughs> Okay, it's 8.56 right now. I'm running a little behind schedule just because I do have to go to my dad's to drop off the laundry, but I think we'll be okay. So I made it to, it's almost like downtown Palm Springs. I don't even know what this area is. Um, yeah, I made it. Oh, it was so funny. Last time when I went with Irving, I got out of the car <laughs> when I was parallel parking because I did a horrible job. And I was like, babe, can you park it while I go in? Because I was about to close in like 30 minutes. It was so funny. I looked like a weirdo, like getting out of the car to make him park. <laughs> yeah, um, that is anthropology right there. And that is where I'm heading. It's actually really nice today. Like, because it's still morning, it's not hot. That literally took me like less than 10 minutes. All right, it was such a success. I'm so happy. Well, your girl got a dress. It's a little black dress. It's really cute. I got some flats because you, I can't, I can't walk in heels. 
and I also got some Spanx because your girl isn't as skinny as she used to be and that is a fact because when I was in high school I was really really skinny wore size 3 jeans I miss those days but I don't know I don't know how I got bigger I think it is because I went to the gym and stuff and then I stopped it and that's like the worst mistake you can have is going to the gym every single day and then finally stopping and then your body's so used to you burning those calories and then all of a sudden it catches up with you and yeah it's just it sucks but I'm gonna try to get back to where I was um, but I'm gonna be more toned, you know what I'm saying? Because I gained a lot of weight. I am not even kidding you guys. You guys think I'm skinny mini? My arms might be skinny, but your girl's stomach is not. <laughs> That's for sure. So, um, yeah, my butt got big. <laughs> my boobs got big, but my tummy also got big, and I don't like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I just need to work on my, um, cardio more and... Um, everything else I'm in love with uh, <laughs> but I did need to gain a lot of weight because um, I was like really really skinny not even kidding you guys gosh I hate when I feel like people are like behind me while I'm backing out um, so yeah I'm glad I got everything done and over with and now I'm going to head home oh. I'm going to head home and I'm gonna get Starbucks though. Oh, also update on the ColourPop uh, matte lipstick. I do notice drying, um, but I really do like the color. So I feel like I can deal with it and suck it up. So I think that's what I might do is suck it up. But yeah, it's a really good color, but I do notice like after a while, um, it, it just started like peeling a little bit and clumping up like, um, on the outer edges of my mouth when I was at the mall but that's pretty good I've been shopping for what like an hour and 30 maybe two hours guys I almost had a freak out moment so before I was getting into my car I was leaving the mall and I know I had my card in my hand and for some reason, like, I don't know, I think I was like putting the my card number into my Starbucks app because it was being stupid. So, I think I may have dropped my card or something when I was about to get into my car because I couldn't find it. I was trying to like get my car out so I could buy some Starbucks and I could not find my card at all. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I just had it literally like, maybe like, 20 minutes ago and so then I was like looking to my looking through my car seeing if I lost it or dropped it in my car because there's like you know small places where it could be um, I was looking through my bags my purse and I couldn't find it so I was like freak I'm gonna have to call Navy Fed and say that I lost my card and to deactivate it so I made sure that no one like used it. I went on my app to make sure that no one like uh, took out any money or anything like that. And so I called Navy Fed and I was like, can you disable my card um, because I lost it. And then the lady said that someone, like it already got deactivated, the card that I lost. And I was like, how is that? That's weird. And I guess someone found my card and called them and um, said that they found this card and uh, they deactivated it for me so I'm so grateful that they deactivated and not used it because I would have been fucking I would have been done for you know what I'm saying like what if someone wasn't nice enough to deactivate my card and just use it and use all my money in it I would have been totally screwed so <sighs> I was freaking out dude like you guys don't know this is like my first time I ever lost my card like in public and I had to do that so I'm so thankful that the person that found my card bless them because they are the, one of the nicest people ever I'm so thankful so yeah um so I have to get a new card <laughs> and um they're gonna send it to me maybe seven to ten business days so 
So yeah, I could just use my other card that I have with Irving, the joint, and just transfer money over so I don't really need it like ASAP. But I'm so glad that no one stole my money because, oh my God. So yeah, now I know the next time if I ever find like a card or something like that on the ground uh, to call the bank and deactivate it because that's, it's just something, it's so nice, you know what I'm saying? It's so nice, so very, very thankful right now. So yeah, now I can stop having a heart attack because I was freaking out, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm heading home now. What's up, guys? So this is, I'll show you guys the dress that I picked. Um, but yeah, we're about to leave in a little bit. So yeah, this is the dress. I had to wear Sphinx, like I said, because, um, yep. So this is what it looks like. This was actually the first dress that I tried on, and it's so comfortable. And then I just got flats, because you girl can't walk in heels. So yeah, and Irving short. <laughs> but yeah, that's what the dress looks like. It's kind of cleavage -y though. Trying to cover my goodies. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then Irving is dressed up. He's in the garage right now. But um, hopefully I can vlog the wedding. I should text Crystal and ask, but I think she's like super busy. But I'm gonna vlog it anyways. We're actually going to the same place where he used to work. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> He's so mad because I'm like dragging him. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. Me and Irving. It's already four. I know, I was so scared that we no. weren't going to make it. He um, there, but yeah, me and Irving are at the wedding. It's almost starting. It's not actually starting, but um, we were supposed to get here at four. That was the time. Yeah, we got here at four and gone. Yep. So yeah, it looks really pretty though. Really, really pretty. I don't know. So, you used to work here. This is actually a restaurant, too, if you guys didn't know. Come here. So, what did you do here? Uh, I whipped out tons and tons and tons of dishes. Oh, so you were a busboy? Yeah. Oh. Later. Okay, so how long did you work here for? About three, two and a half. Just three and a half years. Three and a half years? Yeah. It's crazy. Did you like it, or are you glad that you left? Uh, it was fun. When you're young, it's fun. You know what I mean? Oh, come on. <laughs> but yeah, they're gonna be really like, but they get tipped well. Well, back in the day, mm -hmm. I get tipped well. So, yeah. Thanks for coming with me, baby. Yeah, yeah. There's a pumpkin from uh, what do you call it? Lucky Park. <laughs> oh, I think I saw that before. Yeah. Thanks for coming with me, baby. Yeah, you're welcome. Don't mention it. You look really cute. You look cute, Boober. Yeah, it gets started already, bro. Hey, you wanna vlog my outfit? Outfit of the day. Oh, you step back, bro. Yeah. Okay. So. Keep stepping. Keep stepping. Wait. You no. can't even see your shoes. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you can. So I got that this dress from Charlotte Russe, and the shoes from Charlotte Russe. And then I got my Spanx that I have on from H&M. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys um, actually whose wedding this is. This is actually uh, the girl I used to work with. Well, technically I was a bagger and then she was a cashier. Um, so it's her wedding. And she's getting married to Maureen. But I'm surprised he doesn't have his blues on. Yeah, he doesn't have his blues on. I yeah. guess he's trying to keep more traditional. Yeah, no one has blues on.
first attribute is love is kind and love is patient. And, uh, marriage is to be a journey uh, filled with compromises and to have that balance with one another. And if both of you are willing to compromise and both of you are willing to respond to the wants and needs of each other, not just your own, then you'll have a very peaceful and productive marriage. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. <laughs> It was awesome. I loved everything about it. It was so cute. Thank you for coming with me. Oh, you're welcome. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, thank you to um, Crystal and Josh for inviting us. It was really sweet of you guys. And I really hope you guys have an awesome marriage. I know you guys will. You guys were beautiful together even before the marriage. So yeah. I loved every minute of it, and congrats to you guys. I know Crystal watches my videos, so yeah. What do you yeah. have to say? You get the camera on my face, bro. Back what up do you a have to bit. say? Um, first and foremost, congratulations on your marriage. Um, remember that in a marriage, it's an everyday thing. It's not a singular day that defines your marriage. It's you working on it continuously for a successful, long marriage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Congrats, you guys. Thank you for the delicious food. It was awesome. <laughs> and also, like, the decor of the wedding was, like, really pretty. I loved it. I loved everything about it. So, I'm really happy that I got to go. We are going to um, probably get ready for bed in a little bit because Irving has to work soon. And I have to work in the morning as well. Oh, yeah. What was really cool is that they gave us these cool um, keys and their bottle openers, which I thought was so awesome. So yeah, it's like a bottle opener at the end. Really cute. So yeah, I'm gonna get undressed now and I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for today and I will see you guys later on this week. I wanted to talk about what I picked up, the bag bomb from... CVS and Rite Aid Pharmacies. CVS or Walgreens. Update on Bag Bomb. It is freaking amazing. I've been recommending it to everyone at my work. So yeah, Irving's co-worker actually told him about it. Uh, what was he? He was just getting dry skin or what? Just no rashes or what? Just dry skin and rashes since he uh, washes dishes on the daily and he wears really large, um, you know, large gloves. Plastic gloves that go up to his elbows. Yeah. So he started developing like rashes and stuff rash skin condition yeah so that's the same thing that happened to me um one i think it was because of the jalapenos and two it is the gloves um i wear gloves and i wash dishes not every day but every other day i would say and i also like have to clean the oven and stuff like that and because we have like a chicken rotisserie oven um so yeah i it was really bad right babe like my rashes yeah it was so bad like my hand i showed you guys a lot in some of the vlogs but um it would be just really red and and then it would go like down my arm and stuff like that but man using this holy crap i've seen such a difference and it really moisturizes my hands and you could also use it it says for your hands and feet, elbows, and knees. Any skin that is dry, callous, or rough. It's really, really good. 
highly highly recommend it uh, my hands are like so awesome now they're back to normal um, but I've been putting it on on the daily and I feel like you have to in order to get like that moisturized skin so 11 bucks I literally used this for like a week and look I barely made a dent in it so yeah how much does this have can't even tell you oh it has eight ounces no, I can't hear that. So I was just <laughs> mentioning to Irving that um, <laughs> when I edit my vlogs, they're probably two or three weeks late. I would be editing editing a vlog from like two or three weeks ago, and sometimes I would mention uh, me and Irving fighting. <laughs> Tell you know, that I think it's so funny looking back at the past when we fought. It was like something so stupid. <laughs> it's like stupid now, but in the past, it was like so serious. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just so funny to me. I don't even remember what we were fighting about until I watched the footage. I just think it's so funny. <laughs> like our emotions like get the best of us and we don't know what the hell. <laughs> and we don't know what we're thinking at that very moment. So any little thing could piss us off, you know what I'm saying? It's one thing that I like about me and Irving is that when we get in a fight or an argument, it's either that day we fix it or it's always the next day. Or it's a week later. No, it's never, no, we never got in a fight and it lasted for a week. We, and we haven't even got, got in a fight and it lasted for two days. It's always the next day. Oh yeah, so I forgot to show you guys what I got from um, Anthropology uh, on Monday when I went. Um, but I got this Mario Badescu. I don't even know how to say this. I just sound stupid. But this is the enzyme cleansing gel. And it's for all skin types, it says. So I wanted to try this out. I never tried the products. This is going to be my first time trying it. So I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, and I also got another knob. Um, I'm probably, I don't even know if I showed you guys the other knobs that I bought, but I'm not going to show you guys until, um, I do a video on it. Um, and I'm trying to find, oh yeah, and this is what I got for Irving. So he really liked this box knob at Anthropology. Look how cute this is. I don't even know what he's going to use it for, but I just decided since he really liked it and he was like, oh man, I should have got one. I just got it for him. <laughs> it's really cute though. I don't know why he likes it so much. Um, so yeah, I'm uploading the vlog right now. I just got done editing it because it, it's long. It's like, how long is it? It's like 21 minutes long. I didn't even think it was going to be that long. Irving's home. I bought pumpkins today. Um... That one's Irving's and that one's mine. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Um, but we'll see. We will see. What's yours? I won't, bro. Don't be trying to lick my drink. What's your idea for the pump? Come here. Want some drink? Oh, my like Okay, that's enough, bro. Anything. <laughs> so, what are you doing for your pumpkin? I'm tripping, bro. How, how am I supposed to? I gotta find the smooth side on this thing, bro. The back of the got razor burn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not very nice. <laughs> they had some, like. You don't even know where to start on this, bro. They had, like bigger pumpkins and they're all they're all just a mess um but anywho yeah i don't know what i'm gonna draw yet we will see but i'm gonna look up ideas today um in previous video in previous vlogs when i carved pumpkins for halloween i did hello kitty and then i did jack skellington skellington i did the ninja turtle um, is that all I did? Yeah, it's so hard. Yeah, so I think out of all of them, probably the Ninja Turtle 
What the hell is that? What is that? What? I thought you were gonna draw something awesome. That is awesome. What do you mean? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> what do you mean? What is that? It's a smiley face. He's smiling. He's smiling pumpkin. <laughs> I got the idea from. Oh my god, you're such a <laughs> dork. Classic, bro. It's like so, it's like so yeah. random. That's it? When you're the ugly friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's just there. That's so funny. That is not creative. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Okay, so me and Irving were looking up pumpkin ideas. And we might do Jake and Finn from Adventure Time. I think that's pretty awesome. What's up guys? So today is Saturday. And me and Irving. It's not our fault you try. So it is Saturday and me and Irving are off and we are going to do the Alex drawers today. We're going to spray paint them and all that and I'm going to be doing a video on it. So definitely check it out when it comes out. I'm super excited. Irving's gonna help me and we're gonna see how this turns out. 